Is it crooked? I see it's straightening you guys out. Hey everybody! I'm back. I wanted to show you how I make my fold over closures with my locks. And you can use magnets. You can do whatever you want. It's the luxury of scrapbooking. So we're going to use the how-to book from, you know, the how-to envelope book I did. Because we didn't do anything with it. We just kind of left it. So I figured what a better way to, to show. And it's on a smaller scale. A little bit more manageable, I suppose, for some people. This is really easy. Once you do it on a small scale, doing it on a large scale is it's nothing. And the cool thing about this is you can adjust it. You can adjust the whole thing. So you're not so locked in like you are with the other one. So I just went ahead and just did a really quick little spine. And you know that it's five inches tall and six inches long. And the mat for that is um, five and three quarters long and four and three quarters tall. So then you get a nice little border around the edge. So all I did was take my one and a half inch spine that I made for the specific book and I put it on. Just like I'm making a regular spine, right? And then instead of leaving these two to attach, to the book, we're going to put another one, another piece of cardboard, chipboard, whatever you use. I'm still using the recycling box that I used to create this book. Is a big box, so <laughs> there was a lot left over. I chose to make it two inches because I wanted it to go two inches over on my book. The cool thing about this, and this also translates to the large ones, you can make this end as long as you like. You can start out with your normal six inches to, you know, make sure you get the spine right, and then you can add, you, know, you can make this eight inches. It's all in how you want. You can have a one inch spine. I don't think going any any smaller than, you know, one inch would be smart because you, you want to have something for it to grab onto or lock onto. But you can make them two inches, three inches, four inches. But, I mean, you could go the whole length of the book if you really wanted to. It's really how you want to do it. So all you do to do that is you make your regular spine. But when you measure it out, you just make sure these are in place because you want to, you know, how, how fat do you want that? Do you want the, that two to go the full size of the book or do you want that to sit just you know two inches so I decided that I wanted mine to be a two inch fold over I could have made it three inches I could have made it four inches I could have just kept going until you know I ran out of paper so it's that easy it's very adjustable but for now we're just going to use a two inches here and one and a half inches here both are five inches tall so I've already gone and attached it and I matted it the mat is you know the same as the it's the four and three quarters tall and the five and three quarters long. The trickiest thing about this whole fold over is matting the inside and even that isn't hard at all. So what you're going to do is um, put tape around your mat and then I have the other mat, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. To go on top of it, to mat it. So we're going to just, and now, but we're going to put the lock on in between. So I got my trusty all over there and I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. You could also tape the living crap out of this if you wanted to. You know, I just don't see the need to do that. So you just want to go, if you've made enough books, you can eyeball things real easy. But I'm the eyeball queen. We know this. So the weather has finally broke in my city. Oh, I'm so happy. The noise that you always hear in the background of my videos is my fan. Of course, I have an industrial fan. But I recently moved, well, about a, over a year ago, so that's not too recent. Um, and I moved to a house that's, that's pretty old and has a converted attic. And it gets really, really warm up here. So what you want to do is right up to the corner, each corner. And then you're just going to want to very gingerly <laughs> and very carefully lay that down there we go all right that's the trickiest part right there like seriously now you get remember you get creases you want to crease them out and you want to burnish down real good because you want this to stick you know you don't want it to come undone so that's why it's quiet, because I don't have to run the fan, um, but it gets brutal up here. I mean, it gets really, really hot. So when you hear that noise, summer comes rolling around, that's, that's what it is. And there you go, right? How cool is that? So now we're going to add our lock closure. Let's see. Isn't it cute? I love cupcakes. I made that in a ceramic shop that I used to go to. So now what you need to do is pull your 
cover over, clamp it with something, <laughs> make sure it's even. You know, do your best. Again, it's handmade, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? So take your lock, I, this is how I do it. You know, someone else might have another way of doing it. Put them together and then lay them on your, your book. Position them where you'd like them to go. Right, and of course your you know fold over is going to be a little higher, so you might have to finagle with the the lock just a tiny bit just to get it to where you want it. And it's just it's it's simple. Okay, so I think let me see. Let's, see, let's try it this way. Oh, that's better. Okay, so I think that that's going to be good. We'll put it there. Right. So what you want to do is get your, I use a really thin, I don't know if you can see that, um, and then I just mark it right where I want it. And mark that in each little hole. Now, I'll put that aside. Now, you can see them very, very, you know, very little. Where's my glasses? Maybe if I put those on, I'd be able to see even better. So, I can see my marks. Now, what I want to do is I want to take my awls, and again, my penny weight's holding my camera, so I can't do that. It, oh, this is not my awl. Where is my awl? Right here. Okay, so you're just going to want to pull your book out, and you're going to want to put your holes in. You know, if you can see me it's it's so easy to do you know and you want to do this at this point because you want to mat um, over the you know the little what do you call it the brads I think those are called that you put in so we got that done and then we got to do these little holes one right there and then right there. Okay. So now it should come together. And they should line up beautifully. Oops. There you go. Right? All right. So let's go ahead. Now, normally, I would have, you know, because we already matted this, I would mat this. I would put this lock on first, then I would mat it. That can be kind of a pain in the butt, but it's worth it. You know, when you got to remember to mat it at that particular time, you know, <laughs> that's why a lot of my locks change <laughs> halfway through my creation because um, I forget to do certain things. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this now to this one and then we're going to mat this over. So let's get these. Alrighty. And we'll put some glue inside here. I just, you know, just put lots of glue. I fill them all up. Other people might do it differently, but that's what I do. And that way the brads stay. And there's never an issue. So we'll just feed the brads through. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then we'll pull this one and then just close it as you know tight as you can. Okay, there's one. And then we'll do another one. There's another one. Wow, that one went real nice, huh? So there, your lock's on. So now what we're gonna do is what I usually do is I always put a piece of tape over the brads. You know, it just helps them keep down. And then we'll peel that off with my no nail heaven self. Maybe. There we go. Oh, my bad. We don't we don't go anywhere. Nothing going on there. Nothing to see. Unless you want to see me screwing up. Okay. 
There we go. Wow, maybe I should rethink the nail thing. All right, so we're going to attach the mat on the inside. Well, it sticks, right? <laughs> you guys know it sticks. And then we'll do this one. We'll put a little glue all the way around. And then we'll stick it on however you like, you know, you can do it any way that you like. And you want to obviously lay it as flat as you can. Well, you know, maybe I should do it with the writing up. <laughs> that might look a little nicer. So this is it. I mean, this is the trickiest part of the whole thing. It's really just not that difficult to do. It just requires a little bit of time and a little tiny bit of patience. And then you get something really cool out of the whole deal. So then we'll burnish this down. And trust me, if I can do this, so can you. It's so easy. You know, you just get tired of doing the same old thing. You see a video and you're like, I can do that. And there we go. Good to go, right? So we'll move this bad boy out of the way and then we'll work on our other, our other side to our lock. And we're gonna load this one up with glue, same way said you don't have to do this you can do it however you like I just want it to really stay and I want the brads to stay I don't want them to budge even though they're matted they can still come loose you know if they're not glued down they'll be like loose under the mat and then you'll have kind of a wiggly lock I've done that too one brad in oops whoops a daisy there we go. And another brad in. Okay. And now, again, you would normally mat because you'll see the brads. But I've done it to where I put a tape down and I put an envelope over it. And nobody's on the wires for once you glue the envelope down. All right? And now the book should be full for you to close it. There you go. That wasn't hard at all, was it? I mean, it was really easy. So you just, and of course you want a fuller book, but it, it totally forms a box, right? You're good to go. That's simple. And you have a fold over closure. Of course, yours would be much better. You know, you would be more attention to detail. You would, you know, this is just to show you how to do it. It's, you know, I'm not trying to make, you know, like world-class books. I'm just trying to show you how to do the things that you see me do in case you want to do them, you know? So I hope that this was helpful. I really do. I'm not well at all today. I am I'm not doing well at all. So I'm sure that translated in the video. And I'm, you know, and it makes me sad because I really, I mean, I'm like, yay, but I don't feel yay. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just kind of here. But I really wanted to share this with you and show you um, what I did. And I'm going to be doing a video of my, um, my 6x6 Mini Everlasting, and I'll show you how I spine that as well. You know, how I did the matting for all that, because I did it a little bit differently than normal. So I hope you're all having a great day, and I hope great things are happening to you today, guys. Um, God bless you. Bye.